Welcome to another Chef Knives to Go Quick Look product review. This is Steve Gamash, and what we're looking at this time is the Kohetsu uh, Western or Yo Handled Hap 40 Sujihiki 270mm knife. So, as stated, the core steel on this line is what's known as Hap 40 Semi Stainless Steel. The steel can be treated to a high hardness, which they've done here, and so the hardness is about 65 Rockwell, so it's quite hard. Uh, it is known to have extremely high edge retention. Um, it has fairly reasonable sharpening characteristics, but uh, quality stones will help tremendously. So it takes a bit more work on the sharpening stones, but you'll gain very, very high edge retention. So these are awesome in a commercial environment where you need lots of edge retention and uh, keep from touching your knives up too often. The... Um, Construction is a three-layer sandwich, and you've got a soft stainless cladding over each side of that HAP40 semi-stainless core steel. It's hard to see the cladding line. We'll see if we can show that to you on a close-up. The weight on these knives, uh, this is uh, 195 grams or 6.9 ounces. The edge length is about 265 on the edge from the tip to the back of the heel known as the chin. And the overall length about 15.15 inches. The spine thickness, these are fairly thin knives overall. So they've got about 2.3 millimeters coming out of the bolster. And then pretty much hold that, maybe even go up slightly to 2.4. And then pretty much hold that most of the way till you hit about the last three inches. You start slimming down, and then you slim down with the grind towards a pretty skinny tip, right at the very, very tip. Uh, the blade height is 40.8 millimeters from spine to edge at the back of the blade. And the handle is their kind of standard, uh, what's known as pack of wood. It's a stabilized, resin stabilized wood product, and this has real nice fit and finish on the install. Let's take a close up look at these. So it's a machine finished blade. Let me get a good look at it here. So here's your blade. You can see the curve of the grind, the convex of the grind. So you've got some embossed kanji on the right side of the blade. And then on the left side of the blade, you've got plain. Again, it's a machine finished blade. I think you can see the cladding line there. It's a little hard to show you, but there's the cladding line with the core steel peeking through at the edge on both sides. The right side of the blade also has a bit of a polish to it where they've kind of convexed it a little bit for additional convex down to the edge. There's still an edge bevel on top of that. The back side of the blade, they have not done that far, but that's pretty standard on the Kohetsu line. They've got a uh, full-on bolster and the fit and finish is nicely done. You've got a bit of relief to the spine and relief to the choil, so it's pretty comfortable. These have pretty nice out-of-the-box edges. This one was a good solid 6 out of 10. And uh, again, fit and finish is nice on the handle install, rivets, uh, tang, and so on. It's uh, very comfortable, very smooth. The handles aren't super round. They've got kind of a little bit of a harder edge on the flats going into the bottom and top of the handle, so it's not super round, but still pretty comfortable. I'd say kind of a medium-sized handle. Balance point is, let me back off the focus a little bit here. The balance point is just in front of that bolster, so not too far off a pinch grip. So kind of a light, nimble feel. And um, here's your spine here. You can see it thins up right at the very end. These um, get fairly thin at the edge. Let's take a look at the profile on a cutting board. You'll be doing more of slicing with this, but some people like to use these on the cutting board for general purpose use as well, or just grab it and do it something with it when you and it's handy. So here's what the profile looks like. Kind of a gentle curve, not a lot of true flat. I can get fairly high on this if you need to for some reason to rock this. What that does is mean you can take nice strokes. You'll have to lift it a little higher to get the tip down if you need to go full on with the tip through some product, but that's the general style. These also have a little bit of a curve shape to the spine. You can kind of, I think you can kind of see that there. The spine's not like dead flat. It kind of curves down and comes back up a little bit. What that does though on the handle angle is the handle angle's a little bit up, and so you get pretty good clearance as well. Um, even for such a short knife. So you can do some board work with this as well. 
So this is a nicely made line of knives. The HAP40 semi-stainless steel has very high edge retention. Again, a lot of uh, pros love these things because they can just go forever on these edges. It is a high hardness steel, so you've got to be careful with your technique, but you get paid back in great edge retention. So there you have the Kohetsu Western or Yo-Handled HAP40 Tsujihiki 270 millimeter knife.